Good morning. And it's really glad for me to come back again to this wonderful place and have fun doing shows. But guess what? I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to... Re find out all about my boss. Oh, good. This is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi. Welcome Hi. back, Carol. We haven't seen you for a couple of weeks. I know. <clears throat> I didn't like it, I, but when you know those those things happen, yeah. And we're all safe and we're all well. COVID and, free here. And yes, and we're we're doing great. And uh, I'm going to say to you this morning, I'm so glad you're here, and you're the best <laughs> boss I ever Thank had. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've got my COVID beard. Uh -huh. And my COVID hair, I haven't had a haircut in three and a half months. I like so, it. So, thanks. Like it. Yeah, it's a new style for me. You should see my toenails. They look yeah, like <laughs> and I haven't been to the gym in months. I put on 20 pounds. Uh oh. So, uh -oh. all those things from COVID. <laughs> but Central Valley Talk is still here. Yeah, we're here. And I'm going to start out asking you, see, something about, well, uh, when did you decide that you like to do play musical instruments. Oh boy, that was way back in, well I started in fourth grade playing an instrument, yeah, wow. in the school, so wow. went through that and had a little little time doing that, and then in college I just took up this guitar thing and it was kind of a natural thing, and uh -huh. I got to make my living doing that for 15 years. Oh my, so you taught it. I taught, mostly I performed, I was a performer. Well, you performed? At a gig a day. That's more fun. Yeah, way more the, fun. The, the, yeah. The, yeah, the performing. Uh, I, I worked almost I, I every know, day. I love performing, yeah. so. I, w I would have liked to have seen you. It would have been great to yeah. see you play the guitar. And you don't play it at all anymore. I can't. My hands are arthritis, and it just oh, doesn't work so well anymore. So I can fake it a little bit. Okay. So that I... My yeah, kids I, took over all the musical. Uh, uh, yeah, you get you kids that are all uh, performers. They're all playing music and, and singing and music. stuff. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's a wonderful family to have. In New York City, by the way, so... Oh, the New York City, why? They're all in New York City. They are all? Yeah, picked up and moved to New York so they could be closer to Broadway. Oh, well, I don't blame them for that. Which is closed. <laughs> it's closed. Yeah. So they're all out of work right now. Oh, well, I'm glad when I was there that it was a little different. Yeah. I just got tired of being hit by people, so I guess I came back to California. So. See my title? Okay. They said, Mike Briggs, musician slash guitar player. I haven't been called that in a long time. Well, how you, I'll call you one. Okay, guitar thank you. Player, thank wonderful you. guitar player, <laughs> wonderful teacher. <laughs> okay, now let's find out other things about you. What about, uh, do you have an animals at home? Just a giant tortoise who is about this big. Oh, I weighed him the other day. He's over 90 pounds. Oh, my gosh. I, uh, uh, me and my neighbor uh, kept having to pick him up because he was getting out a little bit. And so the other day I, I, uh, I picked him up and I stood on the scale, and it looks like he's about 90 pounds. Oh, my so, gosh. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So, so what, what do you have real on your mind now that you really like to do right, right now? Well, uh, my passion is this Central Valley Talk right now. Oh. We, we have this great show, which features what artists, authors, musicians, anything creative, even nail art you've had on, tattoo, have you had a tattooist on? I know, it is yeah. fantastic. Any kind of art or creativity, this is a show, and Carol's such a great interviewer, and oh. I can say that she <laughs> is an artist and an author, and you did Broadway, Broadway musicals too, right? Mm -hmm. So she's got the most experience of anyone around here in the arts. Yeah, why am I interviewing you? <laughs> so if you're in the arts, you know, go to our webpage, centralvalleytalk.com, and sign up for a spot. But we have other shows, too. I want to make sure people know we have a business. Uh, I call it now business, events, and cool stuff. So you don't have to have a business. Just anything cool, we want to feature. We celebrate what's good about Fresno and the Valley and the state. That's, what's so, that's what I love so much about it, that, that, you t that you, here's a program that have... People come in, uh, ask them all the wonderful things they do, and let people know about it, and 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 promote what they're try trying what to they're do. Trying to, yeah. And that's really important that you know you you have them come back and come back and yep. till people get to know them. I just think it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I've never heard of anything like this before. We also have a real estate show, a home improvement show. Uh, uh, we're, 
20, 30 different shows every week come come on here. We have crafts, oh. crafts shows. People who love to do crafts, and we have that every week no now. No kidding. I didn't know that Yeah, a whole one. bunch of good shows. So um, we have our faith-based shows, quite a few of those, especially mm -hmm. on Saturdays. So uh, if you're watching, you have an idea for a talk show. You could be just like Carol Love Forbes sitting here every week <laughs> and doing a show. Yeah, it's great because I've enjoyed meeting so many wonderful people. And it's... It, it, Artists, there's something about artists and performers that makes them a little special, and I, that's it's it's wonderful to talk to them and find out what caused them to be what they're doing. Mm -hmm. What why are they and what are they doing to make it work? Right. So this is important too. And I, one of the things they say, yes, we're doing this program here. Mm -hmm. That people are seeing my work and mm -hmm. seeing me and right. getting to know me a little bit. Mm -hmm. What more could you ask? And you guess the best, how much costs? A call, ho, a call, call, lost a big zero. It's free to come on the show, huh? Zero. Can you believe that? Yeah, it's, yeah it's people, just, we need to expose this great art we have. We need to get it out there. And this show is perfect for that. Or uh, books. Authors books. have a hard time getting their books, you know, getting yes, some traction. Sure. We're That's just sure. one source to, to get some traction. There's a lot of things people are trying to figure out to get their books out there, but this is a great source. But what we discovered while you were gone, Carol hasn't been here through this whole COVID period, is that people, uh, we started broadcasting without the guests here, they're at their home. Mm -hmm. And oh, so we've been Scott. getting people from... Uh, uh, Virginia and back east and all over the place wow. doing shows. So we're going to expand now to be more uh, nationwide and worldwide. Oh, I missed so, that. Yeah. That's so fabulous. It's kind of an a experimental technology for us right now. But I watch the talk shows. I like to watch Kelly and Ryan. Mm -hmm. And they're each at their own home doing the show. And their <laughs> guests are at their home. So, wow. uh, you know, we're just, they probably, Kelly and Ryan probably saw our show and they're copying uh -huh. us, no doubt. The oh. view also. I watch The View. I like to yell at the TV during The View, you know. <laughs> but uh, they're the same. They're all doing it from their own homes. So. Well, that's wild. Did we start something? Or you yep. start something? Yeah, I think we start. I think we're going to see a lot more remote um, interviews like that. So. I think it's wonderful because they're, the American people are very creative, I really think, whether it's a creative building a a car or something, or whatever you're doing, it's still an art. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter right. what. Anything art, to, anything comes from your heart that you're creating That's is, right. is artistic. So, and I, I've really just enjoyed it so much because um, Michael and everybody, there, you, you're just all so great that I. Michael, really, our great technician really sitting back there. Dominic's here too, right. learning how to do that. And and I I enjoy being here. I really do. I I think it's a great. Uh, it's almost a miracle. Do you know how I got on this show? Would you like? I'm, I would uh, like to know. Uh, okay, I got this show. I I had a book. I guess it was a book that I came and I came in, and I had was interviewed and everything, and then I went outside and I started to leave, and this handsome man <laughs> came up to me and he said, "You know," he says, "I like your voice." Mm -hmm. And I've been wanting to have a show about authors and artists and things. Uh, would you be interested in, in being a, a host? Yeah. And I said, wow, would I yeah. ever? That's how it all started, huh? <laughs> That's the start for me. That was so. way back when Mike Scott was here. Remember him? Yes. Mike Scott interviewed you, and you uh -huh. came out and... I think that's how it happened anyway. Um, <laughs> but uh, what I like the best about the show with Carol is, you know, some artists say, well, I'm just starting out, or authors, well, I haven't been published yet. I say, it doesn't matter, come on the show, and Carol will talk to you about your work and encourage you and uh, oh, yeah. show off your progress. Yeah, so sure. even if you're just starting out, uh, Carol's a great host, and she asks the perfect <laughs> questions. Thank and you. Please come on. <laughs> I think we have a clip here. We're going to run of me playing the guitar. I <laughs>
<laughs> it's at a. Uh, Found wow, that, that's but yeah, fantastic. I was at a restaurant and people are walking around, and waiters oh, and waitresses. So, so yeah, I, I did oh, that for years. I'd love to have a copy of that. That is so yeah. beautiful. Anyway, wow. I have to run, but uh, uh, thanks for hosting the show all these years, and we look forward to many, many, many more years. But mostly, <laughs> I said, Carol, let me come on the show because I want to make sure people know. I think they understand now. It's free to come. You don't have to be the greatest artist. You don't have to have a complete book yet. Just if you're, even if you're just starting right, out, if or if you're very accomplished, it. and now anywhere in the world, you can uh, we'll bring you in through video, and uh, Carol will talk to you. <laughs> oh, fantastic! <laughs> okay, is that the, is that it? That's the end. I that's think. That's it. Okay. That's See you next it. Thursday at 11 a.m. Right. <laughs>